Hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and that wonderful technical rainbow in between. I am the MPD Gamer, and today we're starting something new. Now, Prince Persia, the Sound of Time. In my opinion, a PlayStation 2 classic, and uh, this is the remastered, remodeled version on the PS3. Came packaged with the other two, but I don't know if I'm going to get around to those. But hey, let's go. Let's see just how much trouble I can get this Prince into. And he's outside, I believe, a lady's bedroom. Dirty bastard. <laughs> I will say though, for the time, think time is like a river. this game was beautiful. In one direction, but I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. I wasn't very good at this game when I first played it. You may wonder who I am and why I say it was quite, quite a challenge for me. And I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. Where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Oh, I never would have expected that. Errors brought by temptation. Always happens. Your Majesty, I trust you will remember your promise. The Maharaja's treasure vaults lie with you. See. Like a warrior, the arrogant bastard goes off on his own. It's entertaining, but stupid, let's face it. Do you think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought? Or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell? Of course not. So you're mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Now, where was I? <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> he does make that sound a lot. That was a cock-up. Well, I've already managed to get him killed once. Not how it happened. Now, well... <laughs> okay, so need to make sure I'm actually facing the wall and going upright rather than just. God damn it. My timing's really off now. Jesus. <sighs> That's better. The way the camera can change quite a bit depending on where you are <laughs> can get a little irritating sometimes. And it does make quite a difference. If, for example, you make a fuck up. Unfortunately, 
can believe you're trying to sneak, doing that attracts anyone and everyone. Which is really rather irritating. Now the combat's not exactly the most complicated, but it's not bad. It has its moments, it has its stupid bits. If you got the space to use that, it's incredibly useful. It's almost, I can almost all the time, a perfect shot. It will take out the, mo the majority of your enemies fairly easily. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Kosro said to Rustam, "You are the noblest of my warriors." From the moment my sword tasted blood. I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Cocky bastard. But well, he's already killed a few people. And he's only gonna kill more. I'm sure most of you probably know exactly what happens here, but And as soon as all of the enemies are dead, you automatically shake your weapon. It's quite useful, but a little irritating from time to time. Because it always pauses and slows you down. Not in and of itself a bad thing, but it can get a little irritating. The infamous wall running that is the Prince Quarter. I do appreciate it. But it can be a little complicated and problematic from time to time. But as with everything in this game, it has its moments. It also has its stupids. But, you know. Princeling. He moves just a little bit faster when he's on top of the ledge, but it's not always the best idea. You've got to do a lot of this at this point. Because the prince is quite acrobatic, using that to his advantage does make this whole bit a lot easier. And I think I remember this bit. Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? Yes, please. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Thank you. And I think I'm about to hit the trap sections. Just out of reach. The dagger of time. 
There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Water replenishes your health, which is quite entertaining. But here's the hourglass of time. The hourglass drew me, fascinated me. But to move it would take a dozen of my father's soldiers. I wanted a prize I could fit into one hand. Oi, I know you do, but you're a bastard. Hilariously, when I was a lot younger, that bit completely fucked me. Just because I kept getting the jump wrong. I wasn't impressed with myself, and I got pissed off quite a bit, but... You know. Children aren't the best when it comes to... Games. I know I definitely wasn't. And here come more. <laughs> and this is a bit which does get a little tiresome. It's good fun, but it takes a while. Just because there's so many chunks of ledge that fall and you've got to go up and down and up and down and up and down. I can hear the music of the uh, magic of this game. Anytime there's anything that's somewhat magical, the little bit of music that you can hear right now comes in. This is another bit that embarrassingly got me completely fucked for a while. It was just too hard for me to get the timing right. And here's the dagger time. The power of recall. Quite a handy ability. I had what I came for. It was time to get out. Now. And on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you very much for joining me. I have been the MPD Gamer. Please drop me a like. Leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel, it would be wonderful if you did. Thank you very much, and good night.